17th Ascendant to the Throne of Uldar. Her Royal Majesty, Nanamo Ulnamo, presides. Long live Nanamo! Long live Nanamo. Glory to the Glory Sultana! To the Sultana. Forever, may she, Forever reign. may she reign! They regaled me with tales of a champion amongst champions, ones whose tireless service to the crown merited the highest honor we might bestow. Never did it occur to me that it might be you. Bring it forth! Betokening our gratitude and esteem, I, Nanamo Ulnamo, Sultana of Ulda, confer upon you this gift. Raoban? Your Grace. See to it that our champion is my personal guest at the banquet. As you command, Your Grace. If what they say is true, Ulda owes you a great debt. I am Rauban al-Din. With the consent of her grace, I oversee the affairs of the Sultanate. Brave souls are few and far between in these times. I count my blessings when I find one. Her grace invites you to join her at the coming banquet. I trust I will see you there. An honor Huzzah! indeed. Come, hero. Until then, for the sake of her grace and the glory of the Sultanate, may you walk in the light of the crystal.
All hail the Sultana. Your Grace. Raoban? By right of the Royal House of Ul, I, Nanamo, 17th of my line, have summoned you here. We are graced this day by the presence of a hero to Ulda and dear friend to the crown. Honored guests, I give you our champion! And with that, I bid you enjoy the feast! Not to spoil your appetite, but Ulda is hardly so bountiful as this meal would have you believe. While we gorge ourselves, children starve in the streets. Nor can her grace do aught to help them. She is thwarted at every turn by those on the Syndicate who derive their wealth from the workers' poverty. Beneath her mask of stately serenity, she is aghast at the plight of her subjects. But there will be no hope for the masses until the crown is restored to power. I am truly grateful for all you have done for Ulda. But there is so much more to do. That light, what is it? So bright, almost like by the Twelve. Tell me true, have you been troubled by strange dreams of late? Visions of the crystal? Mayhap you put them down to an excess of ether? Yes, you are like they were. Allow me to explain. Before you came to Eorzea, there were others like you who fought the Primals. Though they were not of this land, when the Garlean Empire threatened the realm, they helped bring together the three Grand Companies. And they stood with us at Cartano, that fateful day five years ago. The day we lost them. None who survived have forgotten the hero's sacrifice. Nor would any man deny they fought alongside us. But the names of these heroes come not to our lips. The once familiar pages of their story are now blank to us. And in our mind's eye, their faces are not but silhouettes amid a blinding glare. It is for this reason that we have come to call them the Warriors of Light. When I look at you, I cannot help but think of them, and of what you might achieve. You must protect that crystal at all costs. It is a gift from Hydaelyn, Mother of All, and one she gave to you for a reason. Yours is no ordinary tale. If I am right, the fate of the realm may yet hang upon your deeds. Only heroes and martyrs are fit to bear such a burden. Let us pray you are the former. to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! 
The left flank buckles. Divert the barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No. It is nothing. Oh, oh, bloody hells! The barrier won't go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Raging Bull, calling Bloodthorn! Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Soi. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre.
This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions.
taste of defeat lingers still. Fifteen years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Egrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning. Rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartina. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. <laughs> Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, at, at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech.
Enter. So the silver-tongued merchants send an adventurer to speak for them. It appears the Uldans place great faith in you. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from Thanalan?
So you are the Uldan envoy. On behalf of our fair nation, I bid you welcome. Please. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Khan A. Senna, Elder Seed Seer of Gridania, and leader of the Order of the Twin Adder, our nation's grand company. I understand you bear a message from the Flame General. <laughs> <laughs> 